What's up class and welcome to another lesson in the Nomad Shop class here on the School Zone. Actually, instead of a lesson today, I'm going to be giving you a tour of my new build set that I'll be using for some upcoming lessons in the mini series. In fact, I built it specifically for those upcoming lessons just to have a way to show you some more visual examples. However, it actually turned out better than I expected, so I figured I might as well give you a quick tour of it. I think you guys will get a kick out of it. I built it over at Somerville Place, so hop on the school bus and let's take another field trip. All right, guys, we're here at Somerville Place, just southeast of here is where I found that legendary mythic death claw that I featured in my recent monster matchup video. So check that video out for the map in case you don't know where Somerville Place is. All right, so it's raining right now, but we're gonna fix that in just a moment. Right behind me is the hovering UFO. I figured I'd show it to you when it was a little bit dark out, that way you could appreciate the lights and everything going on. So when we get to the upcoming lessons, you'll understand what inspired me to build this set. But this is what it looks like from a distance. Now originally, I tried to build it in a circular shape. I got the flooring going, but ended up becoming a whole mess of extra work trying to get the walls to be seamless. And it was originally just intended as a class set. So I just went with the rectangular shape and it worked out really well to sell the theme here. Now I haven't really done anything else here with uh, Somerville Place. I wanted to keep it sort of a, a rundown, typical sort of farmhouse look because that's, uh, you know, in the movies, they're, that's the places where they always seem to be spotting the UFOs. But I did keep this little fire pit here and added a, uh, a spit over it, McCready's uh, cooking up, whatever that is. <laughs> it's so funny when it rains, the meat looks almost like it's chrome colored it's pretty weird anyway so let's take a quick tour of the outside and then we'll uh we'll take a peek inside that's what it looks like around that side pretty cool a huge uh missile sticking out getting ready to fire Got the anti-gravity mag engines on the bottom over here. And as you can see, it has a glass bottom. I've got a whole bunch of laser turrets and missile turrets and everything like that. Got work to do. Can't talk now. Now my spotlights are out because uh, I built this before my recent glitch solution video, but we're gonna be able to turn them back on from the inside. So let's go ahead and head on inside. How do you get up there? Well, you stand right under here and you beam on up. <laughs> okay, guys, we are inside now. This is what it looks like when you arrive. And I did the same little trick here that I did with Vault 42. I hid a fast travel mat underneath the fluorescent light. See, there you go. Now it makes it look like sort of a transporter pad or something. <laughs> Okay, so we'll take a tour and I'll show you the various things. We'll kind of work our way around clockwise and then move on upstairs. So the first thing is it was a bit of a rainy day. So what I did was I hit this switch. This is the aliens weather modification device here. I just uh, clicked it on and off. And now we have the nice stars. We just, <laughs> this security light was off. So I hit the security button right here to reset it. And now that spotlight's working again. And then over here, we have a couple of astronauts that were abducted by the aliens that have been trapped in sort of cold storage. <laughs> Pretty cool, trapped them in glass right here with some colored lights. If you look carefully, you can see the uh, the smoke coming up. That's the cryogenic gas being piped into the little stasis chamber. <laughs> Gotta love it. All right, and then we have the uh, traditional sort of flight seats here with the seat belts. Wish they weren't so scrappy, but you know, what you gonna do? And then here we have the little weapons area. Got several uh, rockets and missiles, different types of ammo. Here's an extra rocket here, here's a larger one here, and here's the, the granddaddy right here. Worked out really well. So we will, uh, oh, and here's the security switch for the spotlight on this side. Turn that back on, can't really see it from the inside here. 
But uh, yeah, you want to fire this rocket off, this photon torpedo? <laughs> All right, let's do it. <laughs> Pretty cool. All right, I'm actually not going to launch it. <laughs> we'll abort. <laughs> All right, I love this part right here. You know, it's kind of a glass bottom viewport for the ship. All right, and that pretty much covers the bottom floor. Let's head on upstairs. Over here, we have the bridge. We'll get back to that in a second. Lots of computer terminals, various science equipment. Here's the navigator station. The aliens had a really weird keyboard, so I sort of MacGyvered in a typewriter to use as the keyboard. <laughs> Filled this water tank right here with some fresh water. McCready over here is fixing this life support bubble. <laughs> and over here we have, uh, this is pretty cool, rigged in some futuristic looking uh, bed slash couches. If I had the HUD display on, I could point the reticle at the uh, white part to sit down or the stripe part to sleep. <laughs> it's pretty cool. So it kind of doubles as a couch bed there. Basically just rug glitched a, a bed in there. It wasn't uh, that difficult. And then over here, this right here is the radio beacon. All right. I don't need to turn it on right now, but if I want to attract more earthlings to abduct, you know, that's what the aliens did. <laughs> and uh, right here we have some kind of machine. I don't know. I haven't figured this one out yet. This alien technology, you know. But uh, yeah, they have a fusion reactor to run the ship. And over here, they have a decontamination arch. Let's turn that on. Glows green too. <laughs> Some of their alien blood down there. The transfusions, I suppose. Just more weird alien technology. I decided to make it a little more Earth-like and I, I put in a poster of Nuka Girl and, you know, a little amp here for some music. Over here we have the research station with more computer terminals and nuclear waste to test on. And look at this perfect sink. That sink is just awesome. Fit right in there using the rug glitch. And then finally we are at the bridge. Okay, so let me turn on my light here. So here's the bridge. Got the uh, aviator's hat there. Right? <laughs> we have two sets of uh, fire controls here. One of them, AA, is air-to-air -air missiles. And over here, AS is air-to-surface missiles. All right, so uh, let's fire these air-to-air -air missiles first. <laughs> Pretty cool. And then here's the uh, air-to-surface missiles. We'll hit that tree in front of us there. Cool, that was a direct hit. And alien technology, you gotta love it. <laughs> Once again, no mods, guys. This was all done with vanilla assets and the uh, DLC. Of course, we got the cool biodome-like roof over here, just to make it completely alien looking. Pretty sweet. All right, well, that's gonna do it. I hope you guys had some fun touring my Fallout 4 UFO here, my abandoned Zeta scout ship. <laughs> You'll probably have some questions how I built some of this stuff in here without mods. Don't worry, I'll be making videos about all the tricks and configurations in upcoming videos, especially in relation to my Vault 42 build, since that place is too big to make videos with any kind of stable frame rate. <laughs> so stay tuned for all that. Be sure to subscribe for more videos like this. Zap that like button and share the video around, and we'll see you next time on The Schooled Zone. Happy building and class dismissed.